Hey, what is up guys, Classmix here, and today I wanna to talk about the mind of a champion, what it takes to be a champion. Now, I was gonna do this video after I got this ring, but then I decided, eh, maybe I'll get another ring, and then the thumbnail will look better. Well, here's the other ring, and here's the video. Now, in the major football league that I play in, I've been on two different teams. I've been in three different championship games. I played on the first team for two years. It would have been three, but I had surgery on my wrist. And we won an undefeated championship with that team and got another undefeated championship with the second team. Over the years of playing Major League Football, I've been on teams that have been to championship games and won, teams I've been to championship games and lost, and teams I didn't make championship games, let alone playoffs. And over the years, I've done a lot of looking back and you know thinking about how the seasons went and analyzing the teams and how they work together, and I started to notice a bit of a pattern. The first team I played for for two years I took up more of a follower's role. I left the seniority of high school and I was entering the early stages of MMJFL. So you're fresh, you're trying, to, you're trying to earn respect, you're trying to earn playing time, stuff like that. In those two years, I had a very different perspective and, and role in the team compared to the second team where I took more of a leadership role. So I've kind of got experience from this follower's aspect and this leader's aspect. So as I was growing and developing as an athlete and a man, I noticed kind of the pattern and, and the process that it takes to win a championship. There are five things that these teams had in common. The first thing, and above all else, what I think is most important for a team, win or lose, is that the brotherhood has to be there. The team cohesion and the unity have to be there. There has to be that process of the team growing and developing together overcoming various struggles and learning more about each other, having each other's backs. This process of, of having a loyalty to your team and a loyalty to your brothers and a loyalty to the other players on your team. The second biggest thing it takes to be a champion that I noticed is vision, your mindset. So to have a vision, you have to visualize yourself as a champion. You have to be very clear goals and your team has to share that vision. This means you remember your vision in everything you do. You remember it every single time you you know you tie your cleats together, every time you show up for practice. That vision has to be clear in your mind. It has to be the reason why you're doing what you're doing, your motivation. You can have the best team unity and brotherhood in the world, but if there's no vision and everyone doesn't share that same vision, it's not gonna work. The third thing that I noticed is not getting too overconfident. Playing on two teams that had undefeated championships, I have to tell you that this was really important for us. Because if we took our foot off the gas at any point, we could have lost our momentum. This last season, we were winning every single game. Every team we were playing, we were pounding into the dirt. It didn't feel like anyone could stop us. Our team had developed such a high amount of confidence, we didn't think that we could lose. The first game of the season this last year was against our rivals, and we beat them. The team that we had lost to the championship game the season before. So we put our biggest competition down in the first game. We felt unbeatable, but that mindset of feeling like you're unbeatable leads to laziness and it leads to thinking you don't have to work as hard because you're already good. It means you stop showing up to every practice. It means you stop giving your all every single practice. We'd be celebrating after our wins and our, our head coach would bring us back down to reality and be like, you haven't won anything until you've held that championship cup over your head. Winning every game in the season doesn't mean anything if you lose a championship game. The fourth factor is persistence, and that just means overcoming obstacles. You show up to practice, but it's snowing, and the field is frozen, and your cleats are sliding around, you can't get any traction. How does that change your mindset when you're preparing for a championship game? You know, how do you deal with biased rapping, bad rapping, you know, calls that clearly are not fair? The opposing team is literally marching down the whole field based off of bad refing calls. Things that are completely out of your control will come your way. And you know, we didn't lose any games this, this last season. We did the season before, but in this last season, if we had lost a game, would that have just killed our momentum? Would that have just crushed us? Like, oh, we're not the team we thought we were. We don't actually have what it takes. How do you handle losing? Or do you completely throw your mindset out the window when a player on the other team does some dirty move to you or is chirping at you and getting in your head. Anything where you're just really not enjoying yourself and you're thinking, is this really worth it? Why am I putting myself through this? That's persistence. And to be a champion, you have to be persistent. You have to recognize that all those obstacles are coming, whether you are the best team in the league or the worst team in the league, it doesn't matter. They're gonna come in different shapes and sizes, different forms. And the final biggest factor that I found in what makes a champion and what makes a championship team, to have a team that works together and wins a championship there has to be this dynamic of leaders and followers because there's always going to be new people on the team, there's gonna be new people fighting for a spot, and there's gonna be people who've been on the team for a few years, people who have that seniority, they have more experience and wisdom. And that dynamic has to work. It has to work together. There can't be a division between the leaders and the followers. The leaders have to be there for the new guys. They have to be there for the guys that aren't playing as well. They have to be good leaders, leaders that people want to follow. They have to have all those 
values that are important in football. You have to pass on what you're learning to new people. You can't just shun them or treat them like garbage because they haven't been on your team as long as you. And as a follower, you have to respect the leaders on the team. And the leaders have to make decisions that are respectable. And yes, that does mean doing your time on the bench and waiting for your spot on the field. And then on a bigger scale, you know, the, the coaching aspect and that dynamic has to work too. The coaches have to keep the players in check. They have to remind them of the vision. They have to work them hard. They have to know how hard to push them and, and what those teachable moments are. As a player, you have to respect your coach. You have to do what the coach says. You know, even it doesn't matter how old you are or how good you think you are. While talent and skill are also really important factors and what's more important is that the dynamics on the team work. So those are the five biggest factors that I found it takes to be a champion. But if I were to kind of conclude them all into one major point, I would say the biggest factor would be having a vision being dedicated. You have your life outside your sport, but you're holding that sport close to your heart and you're remembering that vision, not just when you're at practice, not just when you're in games, but outside when you're in life, you're at work, you're at school, holding that vision close to you throughout the whole season. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. It will really help me grow. Boss next out.